How's it going, folks? All right, this has been brewing up here for a while. I I did sort of a three-part rant about it on, on my blog uh, after the whole Prop 8 thing. It, you know, ended with a whimper. <laughs> and I, the genesis of uh, this... What made this thought crystallize in my head was I'm driving home one day and I read bumper stickers and everything, you know. And I think it was a Volkswagen Rabbit passed me, <laughs> driving like a maniac. And I read the bumper sticker and it said, Yes, I'm a lesbian. No, you can't watch. And of my emotional reaction, for some reason, was uh, like, I'm not allowed in the clubhouse. And I thought about it, and I, I thought, you know, why is it that in straight, straight porno movies, and I've done some research in this area, uh, there's a lot of girl-on-girl -girl action going on there. It's even in Playboy, and Hef's down with it. So I'm thinking, God's a guy, right? And he's got to watch everything, unfortunately. He can't change the channel, because he sees everything. doesn't do anything about it, but he sees stuff. I'll, I guess he used to do stuff. And he's going to do something someday, I guess, if he ever gets over his, his power nap. <laughs> but anyway, um, so why is it that, you know, because... I was pretty comfortable around lesbians, but I, I confess I was a little homophobic when I was young, and uh, I don't feel that way anymore. I, I get a kick out of everybody. I I think that people's differences just make them interesting, that's all. So, I don't know. I guess the older I get, the less I give a fuck, you know? And the more tolerant I feel. I used to be pretty conservative when I was young, but that's back when I knew every fucking thing. Now I realize I don't know shit. <laughs> Anyway, I just, I was remembering the 80s when all these fundies were, you know, gleefully going on about how AIDS is a God's retribution against gays for being gay, you know, being sodomites, you know, and, uh, and it occurred to me, you know, well, Lesbians are probably less likely to catch this because they don't play catch. You know, I mean, well, not exactly. <sighs> Whatever. I, I just figured, yeah, I, I would tell these people because I kept hearing it, you know, family gatherings, uh, lunchroom at work, you know. Some, uh, I hear a lot of it, you know. <laughs> You know, about you'd see Jerry Falwell and Pat Robertson, you know, saying this shit. And it's sort of like, you know, if they were talking about sickle cell anemia, they'd be bigots. But they didn't think that made them bigots. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I, I sympathize because I used to be skinny and cute and have long hair. And I used to have a head full of it. <laughs> uh, and I almost got gay bashed twice just because... I was by myself, and I was in a certain neighborhood. <laughs> so, what is up with this? You know, why is it, you know, when a prostitute gets killed, or a gay guy gets killed, a lot of these people kind of, they feel really like, oh, well, that's too bad, but they did have it coming. Because of uh, this book, which I'm quoting from here, for obvious reasons that, that will become obvious. So anyway, let's read some examples here. I got my notes above me. Um, all right. Yeah. All right. So in Leviticus, um, they stay, 20 verses are wasted about sex uptightness. And we're talking about the different ways that you can uncover somebody's nakedness. And... That it's wrong. That it's bad. <laughs> Shame on you. And then they break in verse 21 with, uh, You will not allow any of your, of your children to be sacrificed to Moloch. 
And it says your seed in the King James Version and other versions. But this one says children. I, I wonder about that. Um, yeah, children to be sacrificed to Moloch, thus profaning the name of your God. I am yeah, I am Yahweh. You will not have intercourse with a man as you would with a woman. This is a hateful thing. You. That's man talking to men. And God's a guy. So. You will not have intercourse with any kind of animal. You would become unclean by doing so. Nor will a woman offer herself uh, to an animal to have intercourse with it. This would be a violation of nature. Do not make yourselves unclean by any of these practices, for it is by such things that the nations that I am driving out before you made themselves unclean. Um, in the King James, it says customs. Suddenly, it means a little bit something different, eh? Yeah. Do not make yourselves unclean by any of these practices, for it is by such things that the nations that I am driving out before you made themselves unclean, so it's okay to kill them. The country has become unclean, hence I am about to punish it for its guilt, and the country itself will vomit out its inhabitants. And I recommend you actually read the whole thing, but I won't for time's sake. Anyway, it's Leviticus 18, 21 to 25, and you notice paganism and homosexuality. And they also got prostitution worked in, but not here. I'll go into that later. But anyway, that is passages like this that have people, you know, have religiotards, nut jobs, <laughs> thinking it's all right to murder somebody, you know, because they used to be okay to burn up, the, burn them at the stake, or just string them up, you know. Yeah. But anyway, that would have been a great spot for Yahweh or Jehovah to have bitched out the lesbians, and he jumped right over lesbianism and went right to bestiality. Interesting, huh? So what? They can't be gay according to the Bible. Leviticus 18, 21 to 25. Is that a, I don't know, holy loophole? Check it out. Uh, yeah. Sounds like bloody favoritism. You know, exemption from on high. Maybe a be Yahweh doesn't mind watching that. I don't know. He's a guy. All right, let's see what the Apostle Paul has to say about lesbianism, because I've heard this one cited, and eh, you be the judge. While they claim to be wise, in fact, they were growing so stupid that they exchanged the glory of the immortal God for an imitation for the image of a mortal human being, or of birds, or animals, or crawling things. That is why God abandoned them in their inmost cravings to filthy practices of dishonoring their own bodies, because they exchanged God's truth for a lie and have worshipped and served the creature instead of the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. That is why God abandoned them to degrading passions, why their women have exchanged natural intercourse for unnatural practices. And that's it. I mean, that could mean a lot of things. 
Oh, get on with the video. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it maybe it means don't fuck a goat, you know, <laughs> or something. Because goats can't consent. <laughs> um, and the men, in a similar fashion, Two, giving up natural relations with women are consumed with passion for each other. Men doing shameful things with men and receiving in themselves due reward for their perversions. That's Romans 1, 26-27. I recommend you just read the whole thing. Paganism and homosexuality lumped together once again. Lesbianism sounds like that. He could have been talking about, you know, don't fuck a Shetland pony, for all we know. And they've unearthed dildos and, you know, shit. Or, you know, ancient ones. So, I don't know. Sounds like the ladies there might be off the hook. I'm going to finish this in the next video. Okay, bye. Stay tuned.